Welcome to Breath of Life Christian Center Wednesday Evening Bible Study with Dr. Sammy Holloway. Father, we are thankful today for this occasion that we can come out and feed on your word. We want you to know that we love you and glory in you. We want you to know, Father God, that we are dear to you. And we are asking you tonight to get let everybody get, get the word of God in a deeper way way tonight. We're thanking you for it in the name of Jesus because you're good to us. We just want you to know how much we love you. In Jesus Christ's name, we're thanking you right now. Amen. Uh, everybody know where we are? Tip me for Psalm 119, verse 98. Sorry, 98 to 100. Yeah, that's the that's the person who who answered that question. So if y'all want to get it beforehand, just call that number. One nineteen. One nineteen. Psalms one hundred nineteen. Yeah. Starting at verse ninety eight. We read 98, but we didn't. Yeah, we got to go to 100. Psalm 119. 119, then what? Verse 98. We read at verse 98. Let's get back up. Let's we'll start and start where we are. Psalm 119. I thought you said 119. It is 119. But 38 is 119. 119. 119. Psalms 119, chapter. Yeah. And now verse 98, go down verse 98, 98 to long right. Yeah. Y'all got all these names? <laughs> Funny names. <laughs> mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah, they're in our book too. She did my Bible too. All right. All right. We're going to start in one night. Okay, but I'm going to start reading at verse 98, and I'm reading right now the King James. Maybe we might go to the new NIV, I think. But verse 98 says, "Thou." Let's go. To, let's go to the. Let's go there first. To NLT. King, uh, Another version. KG. I'm in KG. KG. I'm in King. I'm in King. King James. <laughs> Okay, thou through thy commandment has made me wiser than my enemies. All right, now, five dollars for whoever say why we why we at why we right here. Why do we come? We're talking about oh, this becoming is, wise. Right. Yeah. Wisdom is plenteous and cries out. Yeah, but for some reason we had come back back to the. What we were talking about, that because it's not written in it. In it. That, you see, you added it. It's not written in there. We're talking about becoming wise. How? The power how? Of wisdom. How? The power of wisdom. All right, let's move on. We, we, we'll we get up there. Well, we're in the area that's dealing with uh, if you're not wise, it's because you don't obey yeah, the Yeah, but verse. we had gone away from that 119. Mm -hmm. And we, so for some reason, because I told y'all to find number 43 in uh, Isaiah. You want me to go to Isaiah then? 
uh, yeah, but we're looking for something. And I'm, uh, wisdom. Well, we were talking about wisdom is plenty, mm -hmm. and it no, cries no. out. Over Isaiah, like 43, something now. Six, 43. And that's talking about putting in uh, command me. How you gonna command me? Isaiah 43. Isaiah 43. Go ahead. Isaiah 43, somewhere around 45, 46, this or something. He talks about. Go on back to the manual because we came in there looking for something. All right, uh, well, we'll look at yeah. Yeah. It's it. The, the ones who, uh, thou, 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 thou through thy commandment yeah. go on. You go, you there? Thou through thy commandment. Psalm 119, 98. Uh, 119, verse 98. Said, for thou through thy commandments. Well, I, you read 97. 97. Oh, how I love thy law. It is my meditation all the day. Thou through thy commandments has made me wiser than mine enemies. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's the one we were looking for. Thou through thy commandments has made thee wiser than mine enemy. Wait a minute. That's what where are you going? This is Psalm 119. And this verse 98, and we're dealing with wisdom is plenty. Okay, yeah. All and right. it cries out for a shepherd because it doesn't know through the word, through the commandments, it makes me wiser. Everybody there. Wiser mm -hmm. than okay. enemy. Okay. Okay. Go on. We, we, okay. I have more understanding than all my teachers. That's what we we got up to now. We we read it. We're dealing with uh, understanding, understanding yes, that type that type thing. Go on. I have more understanding than all my teachers for thy testimony. Now, my yeah, and let me let me tell you. Don't go to nobody's classroom and then go telling the teacher how much sense you got. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Think about it now, because because that, that was the Bible said that through that commandment, you he, they saying the the word of God doing yeah. that. Amen. Now, uh, so so he 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 meaning he 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 got more more uh, than more more knowledge. And wisdom and things like that than anybody, but he's not talking about I my 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 teacher. All of my teachers, I'm smarter than them. He's not talking like that. Amen. Man, he's letting us know the Bible is letting us know that there are, there are people who have developed wisdom, and they didn't know know very much at all about. The, the word of God and, not, and all that. I mean, but by the, the world. And, yeah. and uh, so, you know, because some people, I think it was out in California, somewhere maybe, the person, they thought they were had a lot, a lot of sense mm -hmm. out of that verse. So, so the, the word is make, giving us what we need to, to find wisdom, mm -hmm. to have it. Amen. And uh, what, what's the title for what we are say, talking about tonight? Well, Wait a minute, let them do it. Oh. What, what is the title? Wisdom is plenty and cries for acceptance. 
tonight. But what, what is our, our text where we started out on? Thou to thy commandments has made me wiser than my I'm talking about the whole. The whole thing is becoming wise. Becoming the wise. Whole time. Yeah. The overall type is becoming wise. Becoming wise. And, and so we, we're getting scriptures now. So where we, we can pull out being wise, they, they, they wise. God, God is letting us know how to become yeah. wise. A lot of people go to church all all their life, and then they don't ever get with. Them. And you know, a lot of people they just look. At, they just go to church. They don't bring churches. They don't bring up the word home in the Bible and all that stuff. They just go to church. Y'all know that, but I was like, and uh, that that that's why they don't get the things that God has for them to have. They're not getting. What God want, want want them to have, but people don't, you know, and all people do that who don't go to to the church for the purpose of pulling things out of the Word of God. It's, it's, it's God has things inside the Bible, and nobody can get to them until they go in there and start looking for them. Amen. Now think about it. That's why so many Christians. They stay. They, they get. They get saved and then just stay there. They then still children. They they don't ever grow up. Amen. Then some of them, a lot of them, go just go and they 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 stay, go to church a long time and they have a vow and don't get it. So we want to get wisdom. We're looking for something that God has hidden. In the Word of God, and He's revealing us, uh, revealing it now through what we are teaching. So He, so so He got us going out to find out where wisdom is in the Word, and then where how we should be able to contact it and get it. Amen. Amen. Y'all getting me? All right. So let's 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 start back over at nine eight. <laughs> Thou, to thy commandments, has made me wiser than mine enemies. So it all came through God's commandments, yeah. right? The word of God. The, the word of God. He, he, that's, what, that's what we're getting. And uh, he, he said, he's, made, he's being made more wise than, than, than his commandments. I mean, more wise than, than enemies, enemies yeah. Enemies. So that, that's heaven. For for they are ever with me. The word of God is always with him. And the word of God should be always with us. Amen. Amen. Every day, every day this every day this week, y'all have read the Bible. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> So, no, we lose when we miss a day reading in the Word, and in the Word. We lose. Now, I'm not talking about God going to knock you out and take you, you know, knock you out and take and, and throw you away. But we lose we, because we lost the Word of God that day. Amen. And just, I know myself. Every day I pick up the Bible, I'm going to get something out of it. And it's not going to be a long time. Why? Because that's what I'm going in there for. That's where I'm going in the Bible, looking, getting the word for. So I'm looking at for every word that, that God may have inside of me that I, I want to get. Amen. That's why, uh, you know, like, you can't have the word without a word. You can't you can't have the word of God without knowing words, cause it's made up of words. Isn't it? So, in order for us to get those words, we got to go where the Bible is, whether it's whether it's the word of God is being read or, or you know. Uh, 
Re, wait, wait. It ought to always be read if you're looking for it. Amen. Okay, so let's let's go on. I have more understanding in all my teeth. That's a big hey. Yeah. Hold a minute, hold a minute. Let's don't let's don't jump over this. I have more understanding than how many? All my teachers, teachers, because I keep wanting to deal with that thing. We know, teacher, that we ain't got all the sense you got. (laughs) Amen. But we, if we, if we become friendly with these uh, uh, words, then we're going to be finding understanding. Amen. I'm beginning it for myself. God just bringing it up for myself, giving me, giving it to me. Why? Because I'm going after it. I'm going after it. You don't get it if you don't go after it. The word, you know, like people, you get that some people be get, getting want to be getting healed, and they just stand there and wait on God to do something. You got to do what? You got to start. Turning that those words that in that Bible, that Bible told you, you got to start turning that over. And I said, turn it over. I don't mean to turn the page. I mean you have to start bringing it up and meditating on it. Otherwise, you don't you don't get what you went for. That's why a lot of people say, I don't get nothing. I don't get nothing out the Bible. I don't understand a thing I read. Y'all ain't nobody told you y'all that. Tell you they, they ain't understanding the thing they were they read, and they they didn't read nothing. They didn't. <laughs> you can't get it without you go forward and and pick it out of there. That's what I'm trying to get you to see. I am I have more understanding than all my teachers. I have more ability. Listen to that. I have more ability to get understanding. Why? Because I'm I'm going and, and, and sitting with God, getting the word of God. I'm, I'm see, see the people who go into church. They don't necessarily have to be getting anything from God, but when you go to go to let the let the church be what you, the thing you want to be at. You're going to go in there and get something because that's what you came for. If you came in, came in this room to go in that door right there, you're going to go in, you're going to go after that. You're going to go there and pick that door out, open it up, right? But you just stand there and say, I'm going to get that door and just stand there. You can be there a hundred nights and won't get that door. Amen. So, and try to get this down in your, 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 your children and grandchildren and all that, that the Bible doesn't work for me because I read it. I mean, because I just go to church. That's right. I got to pull something into it, see? And that's what, that's what makes it work. That's what makes it work. That's every, just about everything that is made in this, in this earth. It works like that. You got to get it from something. You got to you got to make, make, make get it, get it from uh, make it work. Yeah, praise the Lord. Amen. So don't ever remember that, and, and then uh, and and remembering too that God said, "I can I can I can learn." See, He said, He said, "I have more understanding." Well, what are you talking about? And all my teachers, that means all my teachers, I can have this, the, the, the knowledge that all my teachers have if I go for it, go for what all those teachers have gotten. They might have been, they might have been getting it for a whole long time, but I'm, I'm, I still have the ability to get it. Amen. Go on. Well, I have more understanding than all my teachers for thy testimony of my meditation. Hold it, hold it right there. We're gonna stop right there. Well, I got under, I'm, I'm more understanding than how many? All my teachers. All my teachers. For thy testimony, my meditation. Let's hear it. And meditation brings it all up. What does meditation mean? Think down, chew on, mutter, 
Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's good. But that's what that that's what we get when we get in the word and stay there. God just said it, didn't he? For my for 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 what was that testimonies are meditation. Now, you want to get that word and do what? Meditate on it. Think about it. Think about it. Who 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 won the uh, championship game uh, from the, the ladies, the women? South Carolina. South Carolina. How did y'all know that? You went for it. You went and got it. How did you get it? With your eyes, with your feet, with your feet, with your everything, you got everything. But it wouldn't have. I, I didn't. Wa- I didn't get it because I didn't watch it. Not not that I don't watch them, but I didn't get it because I was doing something else. You, I, you can't get it if you're doing something else and wanting you and helping you get it. Isn't that right? You got to go get the thing that you after. Amen. Do you want to read it in the end? Of it? Let, let's look at it. Let's take a, let's, let's take a journey. Uh, Matthew. Well, I'm ready to get back to this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 90, 99. Well, I have more insight than all my That's teachers. That's a good word. I have more insight than all my teachers. Because any teacher can go out and get a, you know, get enough stuff to to uh, be acknowledged to get, get to go and get their degree. Thank you. And uh, they can do that, but he just said something about it, about it, about it, really heavy. He or she. I wow. have more insight than all my teachers. Or no. I meditate on this question. That's good. Amen. Uh, let's go back and let's go back to the 100 there. When we do 100 steps, I mean, we're not being in that No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm 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 not, well, go ahead. You get it. I, I get it. I do it. I have more understanding than the elders, or I obey your precepts. Yeah, now you did. I That's better. That's precepts. better. Obey. Mm-hmm. And right, right here in one hundred, it say, "I understand more." Y'all, y'all can see it there. I understand more than the ancient. Mm-hmm. Who are the ancient? The elders. The elders. The elders. Mm-hmm. Like more and more saint ancients getting in this room here. <laughs> more and more coming in. But he said, I understand more than the ancient. All of the old, old people. Yeah, he understand more than him. Then now, then he tells us uh, why that word, why that, why that is, why is he goes on and says, "Be what is that? Keep thy because 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 he's given us a reason of his happening. Because I what keep thy precept." Keep thy precept. Now, that word precept means you keep the way. You keep the way. As a matter of fact, let me. That's it. Well, I got it today. I, y'all can get it for yourself. That's what it means, though. To keep it, to keeping the way. Uh, if you're getting off the way, you're going to be, be getting off wisdom. If you're getting off the right way, you're gonna be getting off wisdom, because because they God got God got those things set. 
got the wisdom set. Amen. So there's a reason you understand more than the ancient. There was a reason for that. And we uh we had already discovered the reason because we came down through those verses that we came down. Amen. 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 Uh, let's look at verse Proverbs uh, verse seven. Proverbs verse seven. We are one one to seven. Proverbs one and seven. Go on, Proverbs one, verse seven. Mm-hmm. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Oh, that I'm sorry. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Wisdom and instruction. You can get you some smarts, but somebody got to teach you something. Instructive. Amen. <laughs> okay. Amen. Uh, did you want to put it in your. Oh, in the NI. Wait a minute. In the NIV. Mm-hmm. If anybody else get a good, 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 good one you get that's, that makes you jump out for it, share it with them. Verse seven says, "The fear of the Lord, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction." That's the same one right there. Though. Well, we'll just move on there. NLT says, "The fear of the Lord is the foundation of true knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and discipline." Wow. Any fools in there? <laughs> Amen. Well, that's enough to say it. That's, that's enough to say it. Despise wisdom. So, wisdom fight, fights against what? Wisdom. Wisdom fights against uh, foolishness. You don't be a fool every, all your life. That's what people used to tell me. I got it. I got it, though. All right, let's go to the next one. The next one is Proverbs 14, verse 8. Proverbs 14 and 8, and we'll do two versions. Proverbs 14 and 8. Mm-hmm. That's what we're looking for, wisdom. Okay, verse 8 says, Proverbs 14 and 8. Mm-hmm. The prudent. Now, l- listen as she go through this because we're going to stop it down there somewhere. In there. The prudent understand where they are going, <coughs> but fools despise themselves. What you reading now? Wait a minute. I'm. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the NLT. We want to read it out of the uh, King, King James. James and then NIV. Okay, let me go to King James. Uh, Proverbs 14 and 8 says, The wisdom of the prudent is to understand his way, but the folly of fools is to speak. Then in NIV. No, 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 go stay there. Stay, stay there. Stay there. Okay, I'll read it again then. The wisdom of the prudent is to understand his way. But the folly of fools is to see. Oh. Fools make a mock at sin. But among the righteous there is faith. Mm-hmm. Now, now let's look at 10 now. Let's look at 10. The heart knoweth 
his own bitterness. And a stranger does not intermeddle with his joy. And that's the King James. You want to do it at NIV? This is not what I'm going to read. Uh, yes, no. Proverbs. What, what you read? And, and verse 8. This is where I started. But that was the mm-hmm. King James, but I can read it in NIV. Okay. All right, you do it in NIV. The wisdom of the prudent is to give thought to their ways. Give thought. Give that's thought that's nice. You change it up really nice. To give thought. All of us know, understand thought. Mm-hmm. It's wise to give thought. It's wise to give thought to your wife. <laughs> it's wise. That, that would mean it's wise to give thought to your husband. I know we I know we have to move on from burning. Amen. Go ahead where you are. The wisdom of the prudent is to give thought to their ways. But the folly of fools is deception. Strong. That, 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 we could, go down. Okay. Verse 9 says, Fools mock at making amends for sin, but goodwill is found among the upright. Wow. Goodwill is found among the upright. Um, you through with it? Yes, I read it. Then that's in Jeremiah 8 and verse 8. Let's just stay there. Uh, well, go ahead. No, yeah, just go back to it. Jeremiah 8 and 8. And 8. Jeremiah 8 and verse 8 and 10. Mm-hmm. Is there a woman read it? Jeremiah 8, verse 8 and 10, and, and we're looking at the New Living Translation. Everybody down in Jeremiah 8, verse 8 through 10, New Living Translation says, How can you say we are wise because we have the word of the Lord when your teachers have twisted it by writing lies? These wise teachers will fall into the trap of their own foolishness. For they have rejected the word of the Lord. Are they so wise after all? So don't be going after wisdom with being a fool, being foolish, doing foolish things and, and knowing. They say they have twisted when they're young. Young speakers of the word say they make it up. They say, how can you say we are wise because we have the word of the Lord when your teachers have twisted it? Twisted it by writing lies. That means you can't be getting wisdom. People are tw- twist things up. A lot of people do that, you know, twist things up because you know trying to get get your them, 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 themselves up up to up to somebody else. They're trying to get higher. They want to get more stuff, more things. They go to twisting themselves up. And then that, that lets you know then they they ready to fall. They're not going to get what they were going for because they're they breaking the rule. They, 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 they're not doing what, what the word of God said to do. Did you, did, did you do that with uh, NLT? Yes, sir. This is the NLT version right here. That's the one I just read. It says, uh, you can do it if you want to go to King James. I read it. I start, I read it out of it. Out of the. No, I wanted to read it out of the NLT. NLT. Yeah. How can you say we are wise because we have the word of the Lord when your teachers have twisted it by writing lies? All right. I don't even. I don't get get it in that one right there. How they t- t- how they twisted it around. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
Pastor, you know, you said a few minutes ago that sometimes people may, that's why it's important, I guess, to really read the word and meditate on it yourself as well. Because For yourself. You used to say, don't go by what I said, check your Bible out. You know, just read the word. Yeah. And then when you meditate on it, the Lord can give you the understanding and you'll realize when somebody has twisted it around, sometimes people be trying to be deep. You know, they want to appear to be deep in the word. And so I know that's if right. Twisted it by writing lies or teaching lies, then it's chaos. Let's go, let's go to number eight. Go to the next one. To, uh, second Timothy. Second Timothy three. You can get this, you get the, get wisdom out the word all day long. Second Timothy chapter three and verse fifteen through seventeen is where we are now. Second Timothy chapter three and verse fifteen through seventeen. And I'm out of the King James Version. Second Timothy chapter three. Second Timothy chapter three and verse fifteen through seventeen. Verse fifteen says, "Well, I back up to fourteen if you want me to." Verse fourteen said, "But continue." Thou in the things which thou hast learned. This is 2 Timothy chapter 3. And we're at verse. I back up to 14 because it kind of picked up in the middle. Hang on, I'm having some. 1 Timothy 3 and verse 15, but we'll back up to 14. 2 Timothy 3. 14. I back up to 14. Okay. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. Now right there he says, you're going to have to go, go through that about the child. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able. Now, when you you have your your parents and everything and, and told you the right way, and then you you just gonna go off like a fool and wanna be hanging with everybody else. You 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 chopping up what your parents has given you. You cannot learn that. You cannot make it that way. And it's a lot, hard, a lot, uh, a whole lot of guys. They, they want to, they think cause mom and dad and them kept me, you know, they kept me just tied up and hung up, and I couldn't do, I couldn't be me. And then down the road, down the road, you wish you wasn't you. Amen. 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 Uh, Amen. Uh, all of us in here probably bit off of that if they're old enough, because. Uh, uh, every every you know just about every child want to grow, grow, they smarter than their parents, and that's because they haven't gotten wisdom yet. See, and 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 we have to we have to hold them down, and even some some grandparents hold them down. With, you know, just with roll roll them in the street, don't let them up. <laughs> They're just going to go out and just get stuff. See? And they don't understand all that. That's why it, we should be taking this time in the Word, getting that stuff filled into, into the, 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 the heads of all these, all these children, as many as we can. That's what's going on in the country right now. They think they got all this sin. And what they trying to get from other folk, those folk gone gone ahead of, on that on that road for a long time. And they 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 they, they can't get it because they didn't spend any time. Them people didn't 
it, it has given them a, a false way. Most of the, most of those people have given, given been given a false way. They 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 think people got stuff they need when those people got that stuff for for to make them fall. I helped that y'all get into that because it, it, it's the enemy stands around always trying to make simple people want to be smart. We talked about that last week or a couple of weeks ago. Uh, uh, and they are, they'll follow, they'll follow the pe those people trying to get some smartness when they, they haven't been going out and getting the word of God. But remember, the thing to get all of this, all of this stuff that God wants us to have is to, for God to, to, to teach you. Yeah, so he, he want to get you to give you the God. God really wants to teach us by people who who got the word and they they are going the right places. Then God can then you can get a, get, get some witnessing from the teacher. But uh, uh, I, I I'm, I'm talking about myself sometimes. Last last years of my well, not the first years of my life. I wanted to do everything everybody else did, and I knew that every, I would I would get a whooping for it. And then I, some ways, I would be taking the whooping because I was I would be getting the whooping by me. Y'all, y'all ain't ever got a whooping by yourself, about about your own self. People, your mom and dad have told you don't go that way. Anybody ever damn done that? Told you don't go that way. Then you got to go go out down there and now try to find a different way and start to coming back, trying to get some. some my, my mommy and my dad, they got to come back in there now and let me get my, my myself right. It, it, read it just, does get, that's just it. And that's from a child, I have known the Holy Scripture which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. Wise wisdom through, through what? The scripture is written. Make thee wise unto Make thee salvation. wise. So, so we, we need to be talking to our children right now about like this stuff, like to make it being made wise. Mm -hmm. that, those are the words I use for the, for the subject. Amen. Wise. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, if you want. Verse 16. All scripture is given like that. by yeah. inspiration of God. How much? All scripture is given. All the word of God yeah. is, is given by whom? The inspiration of God. Now, that's that's the way right here. That's the way to tell people that that you, you, you can see God. Because <laughs> the first thing they're going to ask you, I can't see God. What he said right here, all, all scripture. So what you go to give them when you when you when you want them to see God, scripture. scripture. Amen. That, and so many people get messed up trying to get other something other than scripture to, to, to make somebody get something other than scripture. Uh, they just God said you got to get that people that you use that the, the scripture. The scripture that, that that's it. Let me read that. I got to remember that one. That, that's yeah. Second Timothy three and verse sixteen. I want to finish it so I didn't finish it. Yes. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable. And is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That's the it up. All scripture. It fills it up. The word of God is good. Let's let's see if we can get another one scratch. Wait a minute. Yeah, just sit. Am I through? Okay, go. Let's go see it. Huh? Psalm 15, I, is that any time? Is it? Yeah. Let me finish. You want me to finish this though? Yeah. Well, oh, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, perfect. thoroughly yeah. furnished unto all good, good work. work. Amen. That's where we'll start back up here. We would like to offer you the opportunity to join the family of Christ. If you die today, will you go to heaven or will you go to hell? If you are not going to heaven, I would like to lead you in a simple prayer for salvation. It's very easy because God does not want to make it hard for you. Please repeat after me. Father God, I am a sinner. I come to you asking for forgiveness for my sins. I believe in my heart that Jesus is your son and that he died on the cross for me. And I believe you raised him from the dead. I confess now with my mouth that Jesus is Lord and I invite you into my life. And now I am clean and made new by the blood of Jesus. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Welcome, my sister. Welcome, my brother, to the body of Christ. If you repeated this prayer and believe in your heart, you are now in the family of Christ. And we have a short book we would like to give to you for your next steps. You may get this book by calling our church, Breath of Life Christian Center, at 901 373-7219 and give us your information and we will send it directly to you. Or you can come by the office at 3795 Fraser Raleigh Road in Memphis, Tennessee 38128 and pick it up. We look forward to hearing from you. At this time, we would also like to give those who will the opportunity to give into this ministry. This is good ground, and there are five ways to give, and you may choose what is best for you. You can give in person during our regular service on Sunday mornings at 9.30 a.m., or come by the office Tuesday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at 3795 Fraser Raleigh Road in Memphis, Tennessee at 38128. Or text the word GIVE to 865-325-4913. Or you may mail your offering to Breath of Life Christian Center at Post Office Box 281394, Memphis, Tennessee 38168, or give online at www.bolcc.org slash give. Thank you again for joining us. Check us out on BOL TV via YouTube. Leave a comment or thumbs up. We want to hear from you. And remember, Jesus is Lord and holiness is the lifestyle that reign in this earth.